experts are warning of a drug normally used for animals that's spiking in use. It's presenting a myriad of challenges, both in treating and detecting it. NBC 29's Isabel Cleary shows us why doctors are warning of the dangers. Hi, Isabel. Steve, xylazine, or what many are calling trank, is what the Biden administration is now calling an emerging threat when combined with fentanyl. Experts at UVA Health say it's proving difficult to track. It's a challenging time for us in healthcare right now. Xylazine, also known as trank, is presenting a list of issues for doctors and dangers for people across central Virginia. We're seeing patients who've come in who've been uh, unresponsive, uh, not clear what they took because our drug screens aren't picking it up. And then with advanced analytics, you might find this substance and we have found it in patients. Patients who are overdosing on this drug present like an opioid overdose, but the medicine used to reverse this is not working. This can cause people to have to go on life support. So this is not a benign drug, it can cause death, but can also cause really uh, terrible skin lesions and skin uh, necrosis or breakdown. Trank is used in veterinary medicine as a sedative. Human use goes back to the 1980s, but now it's really spiking. The other trick that comes with it that's challenging is our drug screens don't pick this up. So there's a lot of substances out right now that drug screens uh, just are not designed to find. And so this is really hard to find. And so with the exact prevalence of it in society, it's not clear. That means some smaller hospitals may not know a patient has taken it. It's not something we typically look for at the University of Virginia at a ma uh, major academic institution. And certainly the smaller hospitals in the Commonwealth are not looking for this at all. Dr. Holstag warns that now, too, it's popping up mixed in with other lethal drugs. Not meant to be used at all in humans. It's of additive effect is going to lead to more deaths potentially uh, throughout the United States. The Blue Ridge Poison Center website has resources and ways to educate yourself on the dangers of this and many other drugs. Live in the newsroom, Isabel Cleary, NBC 29 News at 5.